Good morning. Good morning. So look, I, I forgot you. I know it starts, I think it starts with a J. I want to say Jacques because we're in a, a, a French settled area of Missouri. But what's, what's your name again? Vaughn. Vaughn. Vaughn, yeah. So far off. Vaughn. That's okay. <laughs> Listen, yeah. what, what, first of all, what, what's, the, what's the reading this morning? You're, 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 okay, well, I attempt to read uh, one, uh, one 365th of the Bible each day. So this is called a... Sure. It's a one-year Bible. Okay. It's a one-year Bible, and this happens to be a New International Version. Mm. And uh, I learn something new every time I read it. Mm. Mm. But it's but uh, so like for instance, now you have a morning routine though. You, like, I see you have your book and your pen and the Bible and the coffee. Yeah. Well, you was kind enough to let me have some water. Coffee. Yeah, it's yeah, part yeah. of my, my routine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got you. I got you. You know, you asked me about the water. I said, no, I don't take cold water. What happens is, I learned that what happens is the body temperature when you put really cold stuff in it, it's almost like a clash. You know. Yeah. So, so I try to either cool is all right, but even when you drink um, like. Juice something like that. You're supposed to put it in your mouth first and let it let it get acclimated to your body, and then you swallow, so yeah. your body doesn't get shocked. Yeah. I don't know about coffee. That's hot, but I guess that's all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, I like. I'm, I'm very interested in your morning routine. You know, because you, you see, want me to, yeah. Can I tell you about this? Yeah. Okay. This is my notebook, and I see mm -hmm. it too. Mm -hmm. And I might make some notes about my reading, and I also do what, what we call a distraction list, things that I want to accomplish during the day. The, if you want to, why do you call it a distraction list? Well, because I'm trying to be, do a devotion to the Lord, uh -huh. and then, uh, so that would be prayer and, uh -huh. and med meditating on His Word, but also I think of things that I need to do that day, so that's what I... Oh, so in other words, it's actually not to make to to stay on course and not to be distracted. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's a uh, it, the distraction list is actually it's important to me because that's mm -hmm. what I want to do that day, mm -hmm. and then I try to figure out. Uh, yeah, you know, I try to get some of it done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Way. Okay, yeah. which what's your average? What like uh, what's your percentage of getting things done versus uh, accomplishment? Oh, that's hard to say. Maybe I get. Sixty percent done, and got to put it off to some, put off to the next day, or something. I never get done. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was going to school, you know, I guess we're we're almost about the well. You might, well, we're almost about the same age, but the same era that you know, sixty-five was the passing mark, at least in New York. <laughs> so, yeah. so sixty-five, you do over sixty-five, you're pretty good. Well, sixty yeah. is good too. Well, I was fortunate enough to go to a private school here in St. Louis. Really? And uh, yeah, it was a private boys' school. Uh -oh. called St. Louis Country Day. They don't have it anymore. Mm. They made it, merged it with the girls' school. But, uh -huh. but uh, they but got they, rid of my school too. Oh, the but. passing grade, the passing grade was sixty. So, really? so if you could make a sixty, that was okay. So, so you got by. So you're consistent with your with your <laughs> with your beginnings. <laughs> this is good. This is good. What kind of things did you learn in a private school? I mean, what what was it so different? I mean, you had well, to stay we had, it was a small school. I think there's about a, you know, maybe 450 students in the mm -hmm. whole school when I was in school. And, um, they taught all the subjects. You know, one thing, one thing they taught was they didn't teach in the in the in the public schools was yeah. Latin. We had, to, uh, yeah. and I, I was terrible at Latin. Oh, that was that was really bad. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I I failed Latin one one year, and I thought. I felt like the world had come to an end. <laughs> well, did, well, well, isn't this area? Isn't this area like a lot of Catholics in this area? So didn't it, didn't it, did, did you have Catholics who would learn Latin? Uh, was that like a yeah, well, associated? Uh, there are Catholic schools in the area, sure. And I, I don't know if they teach mm. if they teach Latin or not. I know that that was that not was now. A big thing. I'm sure not now, but okay, you know, well, I don't know. Mm -hmm. they, that was a big thing, though. The, the private schools taught Latin, I guess the idea was that that would prepare you to know the uh, origins of words and yeah. things like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's, it's very, very useful. Yeah. Well, Vaughn, let me ask you now, just, so you're St. Louis, what, born and raised? But uh, yes. how'd you get here? <laughs> well, <laughs> wait, 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 your, how'd your family get here? Let me do, ask you about that. Well, let's Where see, you come uh, from, as we used to say? I think my family came from, uh, my father's side of the family came from uh, New York, and then 
Washington, and, and uh, they traveled around a bit. My my uh, what were they doing? What were they doing? My grandfather was a uh, he he uh, did a lot of things in his life. He he once was the president of a of a wood pipe company. If you've ever can imagine that pipes made out of wood, but that. Right. That uh, and that pipe. was a, that turned into a pretty big operation, and then it and then it failed and and uh, went out of business. And then he, then he started. Uh, he would he would uh, encourage people to invest in uh, drilling oil wells, and okay. he he d- drilled several dry wells, and that uh, so that didn't go well for him either. <laughs> what, uh, in no what problem. area? Where, where was he with the well? well I, I know part of him was in Illinois. Okay. Some in okay. Illinois and and. Uh, then he had, uh, when he was about 55 years old, I think, or maybe 60, he started a tool and machinery business mm. down in the city. And there used to be, a, they call them machinery row down there. There's all kinds of those machinery businesses down mm. there. And that's what he did. That's here in St. Louis? Yeah, okay. in St. Louis. Yeah, it was on, uh, let's see, I think uh, Broadway and... Uh, uh, oh, Cash down yeah. there, you know. Is, is, is Broadway is that where where, where the, the the stars are on the walk and whatever have you? No, 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 no. That's that's something else. Oh, that's because I saw Kurt Vonnegut. I, I was just wondering. But. That must have been. It was about. Let's see. There's a. It's almost down on the waterfront. Oh, okay. In, on, okay. The, on the north side where Cass Avenue is. If you, Nah, I don't. I, you know, I'm, I'm stuck here. You know, you know my story. <laughs> I'm stuck here from South Africa. I know nothing about St. Louis. So, um, well, you, St. Louis is a great place to live. It's it's interesting. I mean, it's got its problems and challenges like every city, but uh, I'm, we're happy here. Hmm. But I'm gonna say now, was that your father that was down on? Uh, we, we, we went to your grandfather to your father on your father's side. What was going on now? Okay, my my father, he uh, okay, he. Of course, uh, I married my mother, and my mother came from uh, Texas, uh, somewhat uh, affluent family in Texas. And then uh, they got divorced when I was, oh, well, I guess about third grade. And that was oh, and then, seven, eight years old. Yeah, and Oof. then uh, then um, my father went on to be. He was an inventor, and he he got something like uh, thirty patents, and they all related to. Um, High precision glass glass tubing. He he was an inventor in the in the glass industry, and not only a deve- inventor, a developer. In other words, he made his he would invent the process, and then he would would make it work. And like the magician process. So some people, some magicians invent the 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 mat, the the, uh, the tricks, and then others, you know, do it. Some of them do both. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's how I'm relating because exactly, I do. Exactly. Yeah. Invent the trick and do it. Yeah. yeah. Well, so so basically, your your father did did the wood piping, and and no, rather no, by your great grandfather did wood yeah, piping, yeah. and your father did the glass piping, okay, oh. or glass, whatever. All right, all right. Well, so what else? Was, then, so you, so what happened? Your father married again, or he just raised you by yourself? Or oh, did no, you go he, with your mother? What, what? He, he married again. Yeah. In fact, uh, he married again, and he, he was happily married the second marriage, and uh, he he stayed with her his whole life, uh, and she's. Uh, She's still alive. As a matter of fact, she lives in. His wife lives in Boise, Idaho, hmm. and I'm getting ready to try to get the resources together to go out and celebrate her 100th birthday out there. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yeah. But what, now, but your biological mother, she st- I don't. Um, she went back to Texas. She stayed here. No, How she you stayed here. Oh, okay. She, stayed, uh, she she remarried too. She remarried. She had uh, two other marriages, and then. Uh, the second one was was uh, to a man named a, a German man named Robert Lungstrass, and the third one was to a a, a Jewish man, uh, Marvin Sokolik, and that was her that was her best. Mm-hmm. That seemed to be the the best marriage for her I mean, whole I, life. I don't want to get too personal, so but how did that work out? With, where we, is that why you went to the boys' school, or what? How, how did that work out? With well, the boys' school was this was you know the Private schools were were considered uh, better than the, the the public schools in some ways, and I guess in, in certain ways they are. And the, so um, they uh, oh that you had to pass a an entrance exam and all of that, and then 
you know, there's there's several private schools in St. Louis, and uh, uh, my father was, I guess, he was affluent enough to be able to send me. It cost it cost a thousand dollars a year back then, mm-hmm. and it was that was not today. We think a thousand dollars a year. That's not very much. But, that's but, the, what, but that was in the fifties. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was in the fifties. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. I know you got some really huge school over there. It looked like a, 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 a some sprawling college campus. I was walking over there by a, where Bear, you know, uh, Monsanto is. Uh, it's a oh, very big school. Oh, you're talking about yeah, you're talking about a MICDS. That's okay. okay. Mary Institute uh, Country Day School. That's see, I was in the boys' school that mm-hmm. that merged into. They made it MICDS, and now that uh, thing it looks like a it looks like a college. I've never yeah. seen a, 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 a yeah. school like that. Okay, so had, you came from that. One. That, that, that uh, yeah. So that's a a very um, very. Uh, it, look, it looks prestigious. School. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's like it looks like a college campus. I've never seen a high school like that. Wow. And they have playing fields and everything. Wow. So, but hey, but you, but you, it, it came from you. If it wasn't for you, <laughs> well, one of the the school I was in merged with the, with yeah, the yeah, girls' it. school that was next door to it, and then they they built that thing. They made it like that. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, so you went to school? Okay. You you wasn't good, like it wasn't like boarding school. You you just was. Oh, you no, still it, was, in the it was a day school. Yeah, St. yeah. Louis Country Day. It was a day school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So that yeah. was. So I've had many advantages. Yeah, mm-hmm. many advantages. I mean, your advantages led led you to. But this is a pretty. This is a nice area. Here. Woods, deer. Oh yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is a wonderful area. Well, my my mother and father lived in Creevecourt, which is a little further out, and then um, I I got a job uh, teaching in the city uh, after um, getting through uh, some years of college and and. Uh, I started out as a substitute teacher and then, mm-hmm. then got a, appointed as a regular teacher and taught in the city like 31 years. Really? And, oh, yeah. so you've seen the city sort of change. I mean, oh, or, or evolve yeah. or whatever you want. Oh, yeah. And yeah, no, that was a wonderful experience. I taught uh, taught uh, 22 years in an all-black high school. In fact, the first black high school west of the Mississippi. That was Sumner, really? Sumner High School. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Named after some general, right? Four seven or whatever. Oh, was it I think named after a senator that, uh, uh, that, that uh, I think he uh, initiated. Uh, he, it? he 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 was standing up for um, uh, rights of uh, of uh, African Americans. Yeah, I think uh, it was. Yeah, that's it, interesting. It's it a lot of history to it. Yeah. Wow, wow! But did, that, you must have seen a lot of huge changes then. Uh, you know. I mean, you have a different perspective yeah. because first thing people notice when they walk by your property is that you have a Trump flag. I guess that doesn't that's that's too fly in this neighborhood too much. I see a whole lot of other things. Yeah, I see another one down yeah. there. But, but then some, okay, the natural questions. Well, how do you, they're going to say, well, doesn't, isn't Trump whatever, you're, are you a follower of Trump or whatever? And you taught with, with you know, uh, black kids for so long. How could you, what, 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 what are people saying? What are you hearing? Well, the thing I like about Donald Trump is that he, He's, you know, nobody's perfect. Uh, mm. If um, uh, and uh, but one thing I like about him is he says what he he's a businessman. He says what he thinks, and he pretty well uh, does what he he says he's going to do, or at least attempts to. And uh, I think uh, he loves this country. Uh, he he's had advantages, obviously, but he he made himself um, wealthy, and uh, you know, with invest real estate investments in New York, and then. Uh, you know, he's expanded away from that, and uh, I think the uh, I think he he be- I think he loves our country. He believes in our freedoms, mm-hmm. and um, uh, so therefore uh, I support him. I don't I don't uh, I don't go along with all this uh, political mm-hmm. correctness. No, I think I think I think um, some of the Democrats are very uh, well. The Democrat Party is not what it used to be. It used to be loyal opposition. I think some of it now is some of the uh, forces in the Democrat Party actually want to destroy the United States of America. Mm, mm, I would mm. say that, yeah. 
But when you were, when you would, when you, uh, uh, I guess you would be doing talking Republicans, Democrats, well, how long, you're registered Repu Republican now, or you, you lean with the Republicans, have you always done that your whole life, or what? Well, let's see, I, I, I voted for, I voted for a few Democrats, but mostly, by and large, most of my life, yeah, I voted Republican, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, when was the first time you you could vote? First time I could vote was was uh, was under Nixon, but uh, I was because they had, you know, yeah. they, they, you couldn't vote to you to you was like twenty one, yeah. right? And at the yeah. time they before they changed their law, you know, we were eighteen. And the reason why they changed it to, to eighteen is because we were all going to Vietnam, we whatever happened. They say, hey, if you're old enough to to die, you're old enough to vote. So they I, changed I the law in the middle of that. I agree with that. I mean, yeah. if you're gonna if you're gonna lay your life out on the line, you ought to be able to vote. But yeah, that happened right in the middle of uh, of, of my. Turning, you know, yeah. uh, into, into that. So, did you, you did know. you serve in Vietnam? No, I didn't serve in Vietnam. I I, I served in the Vietnam era. I, I never left the country. Okay. You know, um, I was uh, and my last duty station was McGuire Air Force Base. Uh, so I never left the country. There in Vietnam, there's just uh, what I say three distinct kind of veterans, right? There's the ones that never left the states like me. Mm -hmm. There's the ones that went overseas but never went into theater, never went into Vietnam. And so like you might be staged in Germany, Philippines, yeah. something like that. Then they're the ones that went in theater. Now for a long time, I self felt guilty about that, you know, because I was a lab technician. Well, if they sent me over there, I have to be in an air conditioned tent anyway. But I still felt bad. But the reason I changed is because. I realized Agent Orange was going to affect everybody, no matter where you was in that country. And I was a lab technician. In fact, when I got up, I, yeah. I, I did some. I, I, I've been working for the, I've been working for vets for a, a, a long time. We're working in their, their cause, whatever it is. But what, what, what you served too, right? What did you? Did you? No, I didn't. Uh -uh. I, I didn't have to serve. I uh, actually, I was, I was uh, very uh, well. I'd started a business in college and. Uh, I got involved in that business. It was a dating business. Dating? Uh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Was that before dating was dating or before they, all this stuff now? It well, was, uh, it was dating, but it was called uh, Operation Match. It was computer dating. Okay. And, uh, so the computer so, started out. Yeah, I started out the company and then got in trouble with that company. And uh, finally, I dropped out of uh, dropped out of college. I dropped out of Harvard, actually. Out of where? Harvard. Oh, you was at Harvard? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Harvard. And, uh, well, you must have met some people there. Oh yeah, and some contacts. Oh yeah. Oh wait, stop there. This is this. I want to know about Harvard. I want to know about who 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 was your classmates? Who who of note that we should know that you was hung it hanging out with or you, you know? Well, let's see. Well, the guy, uh, uh, the man I started. Uh, or, uh, he was a young man at that time, but I started out the the company with uh, Jeff Tarr, and he's a uh, he's he'd become successful, and he was a. You know, I think he's in. Uh, I, I believe he he does um, investments and things like that. Mm -hmm. And let's see. I, I had a. You, you're asking what uh, what famous people was I? Well, I, I don't. To? I really don't got a celebrity. But you know, when you go to university, college, it really is about you know the networking and who you meet and stuff like that. So I was just yeah. wondering, did, did that happen for you? You know. Yeah. Well, I would say. I would say. Uh, not to a great extent. No, mm -hmm. I, I was uh, pretty well. You see, my mother, when I was young, she told me, she told me if I didn't study and, and apply myself, she said, she more or less gave me the idea that the streets of poverty awaited me if mm -hmm. I didn't study. Because mm -hmm. I wasn't, I wasn't really, I was only an average athlete. I was not a, not, not by no means an ex exceptional athletic ability. Oh, so yeah. What was your sport? Oh, I played some football, and I played uh, played tennis. Actually, I played tennis for enjoyment many years. But but no, she convinced me that if I didn't study and do well, that uh, that I uh, I would not have I would not enjoy uh, the advantages of affluence. And and she convinced me. And uh, well, she was from affluence, right? Yeah, she was. Yeah. Was she, she the one that got you into Harvard, or what? How did you? Well, she. She, yeah, she encouraged me to go to Harvard. She encouraged me to go to Harvard. And then uh, my dad didn't really like Harvard because he he was an MIT man. And they, they evidently were... were they of were, course, he's an engineer. Come yeah, on, now. He, was, <laughs> so he didn't like Harvard. He thought those Harvard guys were, were soft and they had an easy, easy life. And, uh, and uh, So I never realized that. But anyway, uh, it was a great experience. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, well, but to get back up, 
no, actually, I I, uh, I wasn't sure that that you know the Vietnam War was a good thing, mm. but uh, I also I really didn't want to go. I didn't want to serve in the war. I guess uh, part of it was probably uh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Let's say uh, I didn't know if I could. I could withstand the discipline of the army, and I didn't want to get I didn't want to get shot or killed. So, no. so I was, um, yeah. Well, I didn't have much of a choice because when I um, a year before I was eligible, you know, like uh, that's when they instituted the lottery. You know, pull, yes. pull your name out yeah. for yeah. your thing. But in my neighborhood in the South Bronx, well, they went by lottery boards. Uh -huh. and, but the trick was like, well, you know. There was a quota, or whatever it is. But the thing is, in my in my area, it didn't matter what your number was because there was nobody around. People were in jail, or they had responsibilities. So everybody was going. If you was in my neighborhood, it wasn't like a big neighborhood where, yeah. you, know, you know, whatever it is. So the lottery meant nothing yeah. in my in my neighborhood. But was you yeah. part of the lottery too? What, the, well, yeah, the the lottery came later. I think the lottery came later. But I think when it started it seemed like the, the uh, guys that were in college they mm -hmm. got they got a a deferment mm -hmm. for uh, for um, i guess academic deferment or something mm -hmm. but then that didn't that didn't last and i know a lot of the guys uh, did not want to go to vietnam so uh, they didn't want they didn't want to fight in vietnam mm -hmm. and uh, of course then that led to the, the tremendous uh, upheaval of the 60s and the, and the uh, you know the anti-war movement and the division within the country and uh, all of that. Also, anyway, when I after I dropped out of Harvard and the business, I had to sell my business, and then I I was troubled by really depression and ended up uh, being in the hospital for depression for a while. And finally, they uh, they classified me one Y. Which means that's not it's not like one A. It's one Y. You don't get you don't get called up right away. And as a result, I never had to serve. Mm -hmm. I never had to serve. Yeah. And uh, you ask, uh, yeah. At, at the time, I guess, uh, yeah, I was. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. You know, it is what it is. Mm. Well, now you say you didn't want to serve in the war and all the rest of that, but uh, right now there's these. I mean, how long have you been in Afghanistan? Like twenty years? I don't know. It's been a long time. You're yeah. Like, well, what do you feel about these wars here that's going on right now? Well, I I agree with uh, on, on a lot of issues. I agree with President Trump. In other words, he I think he's trying to extricate us from what seems to be endless wars in the Middle East. Why should why should we get in a war between? two peoples that have been fighting for hundreds of years. Why should we get into it? I and, got you. Uh, and our guys but, get killed in it. But the reason why I'm sort of really uh, uh, laughing or something like that is because we just they just passed a bill right now that both the Donald Trump wanted to get people out, yeah. but both the Republicans and the Democrats came together to make sure we stayed in Afghanistan. It was weird to me. You know, he, was, he wanted yeah. to get out, but these guys, they, they why, wouldn't allow it. It's kind of weird. That's why I like, I like Donald Trump, but there's other... There's other Republicans up there, which me, have you ever heard the term rhino? What it means is Republican and name, name only. only. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They say they're Republican. They put an R after their name, but like Mitt Romney, they're really, they really, uh, they do everything that the liberals want to do. And, uh, and so I, I, I like Donald Trump. He asked why. I think, yeah. I think he loves our country. It wants to protect our freedoms. He believes in law and order. Yeah. He, we need, we need a wall in, um, in in uh, you know in the southern border, just mm -hmm. like um, let's see, well you know like uh, you know like like these uh, liberal Democrats like Nancy Pelosi, they have big walls around their house. Why do they have those walls? <laughs> they don't want anyone just anyone just walking in there. Well, no. talk about that. So she's the one again that they they allowed the war to stay on, and she she became a millionaire from some. Whatever, oh, she, but look, I don't want I don't want to get uh, hooked up on this because I, mean, I just enjoy talking. I, I, you know, I really wanted to know what what she's going to read this one, but we can do that another time. I actually oh. have to go. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you real quick. Wait, go ahead. Uh, well, yeah. let's see. I'll tell you. Let me see what I'm. Let's see. What day is today? Uh, I think it's the 28th. Was it? I'm no. I'm not really sure. <laughs> uh, I, in, the, in these days of COVID, I lose track of what day. Yeah. I, wait a second. I know it's a Tuesday. 
Yeah, the reason why I know that I, I, I know have that. to call my sister this morning. Okay, okay. Everybody, yeah. they should call my sister too. It's yeah. a Tuesday. That's that's yeah. all I know. The, the uh, reason why I know that is because I listen uh, to this thing for twenty-eight. Okay, you're there. absolutely right. Let me see what I have. Uh, I got the number right. Oh, I'm getting good. I'm getting good. Here it is. <laughs> July twenty-eighth. All right. Two Chronicles twenty-one. Uh, then Jehoshaphat rested with his fathers and was buried with them in the city of David. Well, when you read um, rested with his fathers, that's how they describe it in our translation. That means he, he passed away. And, oh, okay. Uh, oh, rested with, of rested course, rested with his fathers. Of course. Yeah, rested with his fathers. Yeah. Excuse me. So, and then mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to read Romans 11. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm talking to you Gentiles. It deals with how the Gentiles were grafted into the will of God through, mm -hmm. uh, through mm -hmm. Christ. Okay. And then... Uh, and you have a third one. Psalms right is, okay. um, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Of course, that's what, good morning. That's what Christ right said. Uh, that's what Christ said when okay. he was being crucified. And then Proverbs 20, the righteous man leads a blameless life. Blessed are his children after him. So okay. don't you think right there. Yeah. Well, we actually we actually talked about your lineage a lot today. Yeah, <laughs> so I guess that's appropriate. Well, you didn't talk much about yourself, but uh, you did talk about yourself some. You know? That before, yeah. be, be, be that. another time. I'm, you know, like I said, I'm stuck here to October. I'm sure I'm bumping to you again sometime. We'll see what happens. You well, know, I'm, we're 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 happy here. As you see, our peaceful our neighborhood is peaceful. But mm -hmm. I'm a. I got a sign of you know we we. Uh, we support our police, man. It's a shame to see how police are being disrespected all throughout the country because of, because of what's going on. But well, I believe I'm a big on law and order. That's okay. one reason I support President Trump. I got you. All right, all right, Vaughn. Thanks for having me for a little bit. Thank you for the water. I'm gonna keep on walking around here. Have my I rest. I've been resting too I'm much up. right now. Remind me your first name again, Anthony. Anthony, right. Anthony. Now, what do we, you know, you know the Anglo um, root meaning of Anthony. It means incomparable, no comparison. Now, what does Vaughn mean? What's the I mean the Anglo? I think it might mean little one, but I, I'm not sure what exactly. Uh -huh. what but Anthony, yeah, that's that's a pretty name, incomparable, huh? Incomparable. Yep. Yep. Well, Incomparable. Yeah. No. It's the same thing. Yeah. No matter. Yeah. That, that's right. Well, I learned glad, that a long time ago. Yeah. So well, I'm glad you stopped by this morning. Surely. 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 Okay. You have a have a great day. Or as they yeah. say, a blessed day. How, how are yeah. they talking you, these days? You have a blessed one too. Every every day. Every day should be a blessed day. Uh -huh. Every day is a blessed day. As long as you breathe it. There you oh, go. There All you right. Go. Thanks so much. Thank you for coming by.